Today is gonna to be a full body strength workout. Might seem easy, but it's really not easy. This is probably one of the best routines that I've done. And it actually allowed me to put on a lot of size. And yes, 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 put on a lot of size. Naturally, you know, look good, right? Aesthetics, but also to help me perform as well. This is gonna be, gonna be our first set. And uh, you know, this is strength. So we ain't going for high reps is to get anywhere between three to five, right? We don't want to overdo it, but I do want to work up to a single. Woo. Yes, sir. Now, so we're basically doing a warm-up set. So when, once we get top of working weight, and then that's when we'll cut our sets and our reps. Count our sets and our reps. All right, this is our second set with 135. We're gonna go for a nice pause. Explode at the top. And now we go up. This is more of an instructional video. You know, this is taking you guys through my warm up, my prep. Not necessarily my prep. I did my prep earlier. So it's, I did a pre warm up. And now this is another warm up until I get to my working set. Hopefully, or maybe one day I'll show you guys my uh, pre-warm-up training before I get to my actual lower body strength, full body style lifting. I hope that makes sense. Okay guys, as you can see, we went up in weight. Remember this is all prepping, prepping, warming up before we get to our working sets. Oh my God, I'm getting old. Y'all hear that cracking? Two. Three. Honestly, it's funny because I didn't have any of those issues. I think that it's actually, and I know that it's related to inactivity, right? Inactivity of squatting and all those things. So you can do all the warm ups, all the prehab rehab style stuff but if you're not actually doing the movement like a barbell squat you still you you always going to feel the same exact thing you're always going to uh feel you know i want to say feel but you will feel and you'll hear those crackings those poppings you just got to get up under the bar man it's just simple as that this is our second set with 225 just try to make sure everything is clicking and is right. I don't want to rush into anything right now. Remember, I'm still coming off that injury, so. And during my powerlifting days, I would do the same style of prepping, warming up, and lifting. So uh, this way is feeling pretty heavy right now, but it always feels that way. And this is actually normal for me to do these mini sets before I actually get into my heavyweight working sets. So I'll probably do anywhere between, honestly, about six sets before I even get to my heavyweight. So that's uh, real priming and prepping the body for some weight. But I don't know how much I'm gonna get with this. So let's see. This is 285. Let's lock in. Feels so weird, man. <clears throat> All right, guys, this is the working set right here, baby. Come on. Been a while. This is embarrassing right now for me. 
right? But at least I can still put 315 on my back. I would say, I always say that at least uh, squat your body weight. Well, no, I'm sorry. I always went by the rule of at least be able to uh, bench press your body weight, uh, squat 225, pull 315 on a deadlift. Like that's my motto. As long as I'm able to do 225 back squat, bench press my body weight, and do a 315 deadlift, I'm fine with that. For longevity, baby. Got a triple last set, I think, All right? Want to get a double here? Yeah. Woo! Man, it's been so long. Note, I wanna be that old man that's able to squat. I don't wanna be that old man that says, oh, I used to, or I used to squat, squats this, squats that, putting all the blame on squats. I wanna be that old man that had them legs that you want, and when you say, what do you do for your legs? Oh, I'm, I still barbell squat. Guaranteed, walk my word on this. God willing, God willing. That's what I want to do. That is my ultimate goal, is to be that old man that can still squat, bench press, deadlift, pull-ups, push-ups, dips, all of it, baby. All right, guys, we want this to move as fast as possible on this set, right? That's the goal here. I'm still trying to figure out my hand position, everything, man. It's been so long. Let's, let's go with the, the, the grip. Y'all y'all experiencing the uh, <laughs> the progression in live time. We're gonna be going on to our next movement, but I basically wanna give like a summary. So basically the goal here was to prep the body, warm it up until we get to our working sets. And the rep scheme was three, two, one, three sets of three. I'm sorry, one set of three, uh, one set of two, and uh, another set of one. So basically the first set was three reps with 315, second set, was two reps with 315. Last set was a single as fast as possible uh, with 315, so yeah. Now our next movement is gonna be a complex movement. So these are uh, really great, really, really great. So this is gonna tax the entire back, right? So this is what I mean by full body. So we're gonna go into a RDL, row, stand, one. Two, three, six, seven, eight. Yes, yeah, sir, y'all gonna love this movement. I'm telling you, this workout is Tremendous for that size, that strength, and just that overall performance. We on our second set. And you know, the goal here isn't to actually go super heavy, you know, on a RDL into a row in, in a complex movement. You don't want to go super heavy on this, right? So I understand that we're putting on size, but we also too want to be safe as well, right? The weight definitely feels light enough for me to go heavy, but I'm still going to play it smart. Long jump. Y'all get the picture. I'm everywhere right now.
Now, that's funny, I spoke too fast. Second set definitely was tougher, so this is actually a perfect weight that I pick. So I'm pretty sure the third set is gonna be even more tougher. And if I didn't say in the beginning, uh, this is a crazy posterior chain uh, exercise. So make sure y'all add this into y'all bag day or your shrimp day, your squad day. You know, it's very taxing. So I would say twice a week, but make sure you program it the right way. This is our third set. Jeez. Incline dumbbell press. Second set. As you can see, we're sticking to the repetition range of eight. Uh, you know, we're not going super heavy. We're going, I would say, moderate, where we're um, not going to muscle failure, but we just stimulating the muscle through uh, moderate, moderate weight versus light or heavy weight, right? Moder moderate rate enough to stimulate, but we can actually get through the movement, not be so exhausted to where we can't get to the next hard movement. All right, guys, our next movement is going to be dips. <sighs> Ain't nothing like a good old set of dips. Yes, yes, we on our second set of dips. I mean, this is our third set. Set of a fourth. I'm a jail cell. All right, guys, fourth set. <sighs> As you can see, we stick it to that eight rep count. Uh, I feel like that's like the perfect number to do when it comes to um, putting on size and, and, and kind of tapping to almost that hypertrophy uh, 
that hypertrophy range. So I, re I really like those. I really like that eight repetition uh, style. Our next exercise movement is going to be some chin ups. These are great for the lower lats and uh, to sneak in some bicep action. <laughs> I love this workout. It's a beautiful workout. Ah. I'm sorry, hanging knee tucks. <laughs> All right, second set, y'all should feel your core fired up, especially from the pull-ups and dips and right into these. We just finished up hitting our full body strength training. This was an amazing workout for myself and hopefully for you guys. I'm telling you, man, once you do this workout, complete it. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, comment. Peace.